Hi guys, welcome to another video from Overbike Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Star Trucker. Uh, Star Trucker literally came out this week. Um, I think it was Tuesday it came out. Um, it's on Steam for, well it's got 10% off right as I'm recording this, whether or not it's still 10% off when you're seeing it, I don't know. Um, but it's £21 normally. It is also Day 1 Game Pass. So if you've got Game Pass, you can play it without spending money. Which I wish I'd knew before I spent money and then played it for a while. Damn it. <laughs> but that's me being stupid. So, Star Tracker comes from Monster and Monster. Uh, which is an interesting studio name. And it is basically exactly what it says on the tin. You, f you fly a big rig around space delivering things. And, and that's pretty much the game there are other bits there are there are some stuff that's slightly reminiscent of, of you know american and euro truck simulator which are both games i really like um i bought a steering wheel specifically for them and play them in vr and it's it's a great way to wall away a s sunday afternoon where you just sat there delivering things around different countries but star tracker Forget countries, baby. We're talking space. So your truck looks like a truck in space. It doesn't have wheels, obviously. There's thrusters and doodads and all that, but it does look like your typical American big rig truck. Uh, it's got a CB in it. You get uh, calls from other characters, which give you different jobs and stuff to do for them. It also unlocks, kind of, you go through this, the, the story. It's, it's not massive or anything, but... There's there's a sort of little story in there. And you go through, you do jobs, you gain levels. Every time you gain level, you get a perk point, which you can put in your skill tree, which has um, stuff like passive bonuses and also it opens up different types of jobs, like you can take on fragile cargo or long haul jobs, stuff like that. Uh, the truck itself is upgradable. You can increase your uh, propulsion systems or your structure, stuff like that. Each of those have uh, sort of subsets under them where you can spend money on making things better. Uh, it does a good job at telling you exactly which one, what each one does essentially. And there is customization for your truck as well in the form of paint jobs and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, some of the paint jobs are recolorable, some aren't. Um, most of them you unlock as you go through the game. There are a few challenge ones. Um, which you will have to unlock obviously by doing specific things and some of them are recolorable some of them are not uh, the ones that are recolorable you can even change the shade of your chrome so that's quite cool one downside is uh, there are no other trucks to buy the truck you have is the truck you have and that is it that, that's a little bit disappointing at least for me because in this you can walk around the inside of your truck look at you elite dangerous again Two reviews in a row just saying <laughs> and you do basically maintenance on the inside of your truck as well as the outside so it's pretty neat so it would have been nice to have a different truck and sort of mix up the internals a bit and maybe get a different looking sort of layout for for the cab but i mean it does have a very fine balance to it because not only do you have to like worry about fuel um, but you have to worry about your power, like everything's powered by batteries other than the engine. And you have chips that manage everything. So it's kind of like needing to swap stuff out. So for instance, generally the first thing that goes is your gravity because it's, it's kind of like the least catastrophic one to run out of power. And so they do that and they send you off to, re to replace it. You've got a few staff with a few batteries and air filters and shit. And that means you have to find it physically on the ship. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I found like literally every other system but gravity. I was like, where the fuck is this? So I went to the glove box, got the truck handbook out. <laughs> and actually had to look up where it was. And it turns out as flight of stairs you go down actually lifts up and it's under there. Which, you know, I'm glad I found it. But uh, yeah, I would have had to run around to accidentally sort of curse it over the stairs and so they were interactable and been like oh okay so you so there's that i mean you have to 
You also have to replace air filters. There's four of them. Uh, I think they're like thousands each off the top of my head, so it's not cheap keeping your truck running. Uh, it does it does do a good job of like allowing you to customize your experience though. So it has a number of different sort of styles of driving, like you can just be a driver or a mechanic or you know, stuff like that. And then you have a custom set as well where you can just customize absolutely everything to your heart's content. And that helps. When you crash into something, you might get a hole breach, in which case you'll start losing oxygen, which means your oxygen sort of system has to work harder and you start draining energy from that. So you need to get out of your chair, into your spacesuit, out of the airlock, and then float across to your hole breach and patch it, basically, with this ugly metal patch. And there you go, you're not leaking air anymore, and you can go back about your way. Uh, what you will find though is you will suffer more hole breaches the worst condition your truck is in. It has like a structure meter. And while it doesn't mean you're like destroyed if it reaches zero, it just means that yeah, any random little knock is going to create hole breaches. Which does happen quite a lot. In fact, in the footage I recorded for this, I possibly had my worst performance on a job ever. It was ridiculous. Um, up to that point, I'd clipped um, a trailer coming up, sort of taken out of its docking yard and just clipped it. And that was about the extent of my problems. In this, I, I can't miss anything. So enjoy the footage of me repairing the hole constantly. <laughs> so one thing I do like is how it makes your truck feel like I don't want to say a home, that's a little bit cheesy, but it, it kind of is that. Because there's a lot of buttons to flip, man. You can have like, there's three different lights you can have on inside the cab, or you can choose to turn them off, which you probably will do after a little while, because lights drain power, and you got to keep the powers, because power costs money. And then you have three settings for your external lights as well. There's a cruise control system, it won't like follow roads or anything for you we're not talking elon levels of technology here but it will keep you at a constant speed uh, which is quite nice you do have a f a f some decisions to make in how you go about doing things uh, for instance there are highways that you can take which uh, just like borders sort of bordered areas of space which you go down and there's no debris or anything but there's obviously other traffic and then you've actually got the borders of the highway itself to worry about which I imagine praying because I'm dumb <laughs> but it is generally considered safer but slower route or you could just go what would amount to overland and just go straight towards your objective going straight towards your objective seems like a good idea but until you realize space is not actually that empty it is full of shit is full of bits of rock, bits of metal, tons of shit floating around, and pretty sure you're getting like machine gun by it or as you fly through it. So, yeah, not not necessarily ideal to do that either. But I mean, if you're careful and you don't go too fast, because obviously, slower you go, less impact, stuff like that. And obviously, it turns easier at slower speeds as well. Um, but that. It does then sort of degrade from the whole shortcut element of it, so it's it's a risk reward kind of thing, and that's basically what the game is. It's like do you want to do you want to do a short, quick run, but it's on a time limit, or do you want to do a long haul one, but you know you might run out of air filters or money or whatever in order to get there. So it's it you, you there is an element of planning to it. Um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I am enjoying the game. But I can see myself tiring of it pretty quick. Now, in, in fairness to them, they do a reasonable job of like stretching it out because there are hazardous systems that you go into which you need to find ways around it. Um, and there's like a cool bit where you put shutters down over your, your windshield so you can't actually see out the windshield, but then you have to sort of drive it on the monitors, which makes it a lot more difficult because it's very hard to see, especially the tiny space junk on a monitor so ugh. but the thing is it's very it is very repetitive in what you're doing basically um, at least when I'm playing American Truck Simulator uh, you know 
I've got like towns to look at, I've got new places to visit. In this, it's... If you've been to the system once, you've seen it. It's, there's nothing more there. And it's all space, there's like different colours and there's different designs of stations and stuff like that. And there's like more industrial areas where it's it's taken up mostly by like an industrial platform, stuff like that. And as I said, there's a there's hazardous systems as well. So it's not terrible, terrible in terms of repetitiveness and boredom and stuff like that. And certainly running around your truck, keeping everything tip top is um, going to keep you busy as well. But it just feels like there needs to be a little bit more. I mean, at least like with American and Euro Truck Simulator, you're like, well, I'm going to get a new truck soon. And that's going to look different. And it's going to drive different. And it's going to put different upgrades on it. And it's going to have different specs. But because you only have the one truck in this, it's just like, just use my truck until I get an upgrade point and then it just goes slightly faster or whatever. So yeah, I, I would definitely like to see more trucks. Give me a reason to keep playing, basically. I mean, once you finish the story, it's just like, well... I think it's going to be one of those games where I might just go, yeah, fuck it, um, I, I just want to drink some whiskey and chill for a little while, so why not? Let's do a few cargo runs in Star Trucker. I don't know how many times I've called it Space Trucker. Quite a lot, I imagine, because I'm stupid, but it is Star Trucker. So I, th I think it c you could get to the point where you're a little bit burned out on it quite quickly, which is a shame, because I like the game, I like the idea. I just think there needs to be more of a reason to keep me playing it, and having like more expensive trucks that I have to save up to get is, is would be that sort of like carrot dangling in front of me to keep playing. But it is a good game. I would highly recommend it. As I say, it's £21 on Steam, not on sale price. And uh, obviously it's on Game Pass as well, so if you have Game Pass, no brainer, give it a try. If you like the sound of like delivering cargo in space and repairing your truck, and it also has an excellent soundtrack. It's it's very country, but it's, it's kind of country rock, like swamp rock kind of thing going on. Uh, so that, that, I actually quite like that, which, you know, being English is weird, but I do like it. I liked it. I sort of, sort of think the original uh, Rebel Galaxy soundtrack, it's it's sort of around there. It's not quite as good, but it's around there. Obviously, I haven't captured any of that because I'm pretty sure it's all licensed. So, yeah. But it isn't good to listen to as you just fly around. And some of the slower stuff is quite... It's quite as atmospheric as you're driving your American big rig round space. <laughs> so, but I'm having a blast with it. You do have um so when you get to a system you do have a station, you go to the station, you dock the station, and there you can pick your jobs. There's another docking port which functions as a shop, there's also repair places you can go to and upgrade places. So there's there's a fair bit to like see in each system it's, it's more about working out the best way to get to them because obviously you're like well i go down this highway but it doesn't look like it goes around there but it might go to somewhere that does so you sort of do that one thing i will compliment the game on it does give you a rearwards facing camera and it makes docking so much easier than it could have been is i i've I have the cheat mirror on in uh, American Truck Simulator that allows me to look like directly behind my truck. The one that's like physically impossible, but it's there anyway if you want it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, because like, hitching up is just such a fucking pain. I have like bollocks my truck up multiple times trying to do it. But in this, you get a camera with a crosshairs and it's super easy. As long as you, you don't go too enthusiastic and fairly straight, then you know. It, it's fine, it's easy, it's good, and that you have to use that for docking as well. So that's quite cool. Uh, lots of buttons to press on your uh, console as well. So I, I like the sort of... It also has like the, the whole Star Wars thing where it, you go through jump gates and you have to align to the jump gate and then wait for it to charge up. And you have to like basically sit there in front of it while it's charging. And once it's charged, there's like this big old chunky lever on the ceiling that you pull down and then you jump. A bit, a bit Star Wars here for me. I like it. <laughs> Takes me back. But yeah, I would highly recommend Star Trucker. Just in case I said it wrong again at some point. Because I probably have. 
because my brain is far, far too obsessed about the upcoming Space Marine 2. So it's, it's just tacking space onto everything at the moment. <laughs> Which will, of course, be my next review. I'm going to uh, play the fuck out of that next week. So I will uh, probably even dabble in the multiplayer. I am that stoked for it. So yeah, that's that should be um, great. <laughs> not not because I'm the multiplayer is crap. I'm sure it's pretty good, but just the fact that uh, yeah, I'm not great at multiplayer games. I always feel like I'm letting people down. It stems from my World of Warcraft experience in multiplayer, which I wasn't a fan of either. And it's like, I was, what was I? Was I a shaman, I think? I had like one healing spell. And I got the designated healer. And I'm like, dude, I have one fucking spell that has a cooldown. What do you want me to do? I can't heal you. Fuck off. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but yep, yeah, Star Trucker across the universe. Only going forward is he can find reverse. Yes. Comment down below if you thought that's wrong. I'll be highly disappointed if no one knows. <laughs> anyway guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.